The monowheel has been around for quite a long time. The earliest models roamed around in the late 19th century, and many different types of variants were created over the years. From the classic 1000 pound Dynasphere, to the more modern and extreme right wheel, and then eventually to the modernized powered unicycle. So let's fast forward all the way to the present and let's look at some of the neatest vehicles running today. At number 5, the tractor monowheel. Mr. Hull is an expert when it comes to driving monowheels, and he has several different variants, but I think one of his neatest is the 500 pound Titan, which is also probably one of the heaviest monowheels on record, and it's something that you wouldn't really want to crash. The throttle and brake controls are attached directly to the handles, and it can be a little bit tricky to drive. If you mess up, well, it will basically throw you into a vicious disorientating spin. But this type of driving is really easy for Hunter, and it's going to be interesting to see what he builds next. At number 4, the Warhorse. You just have to mention the UK's monowheel team when you're talking about conventional monowheels. One of the newest variants is a world record 61 mile per hour, one wheeled carnage machine powered by a 200cc engine. Driven by Kevin Scott, it is a pretty dangerous machine, and going full throttle with this thing is pretty scary. Breaking the world record was a pretty big deal at the time, but the team is already building a newer, faster variant, which is nicknamed the Trojan. At number 3, the Rhino Microcycle. Yes, the classic monowheel bike is still kicking around in the prototype phase. It really exemplifies how tough it can be to bring a product from a prototyping phase to being mass produced. But anyways, the microcycle is a self-balancing Cadillac, and it's a little bit slower with a top speed of 10 miles per hour. But it's outfitted with a shock absorber, an adjustable tilt position, and a complete brake system. It would be neat to see this one on the market, and it's tough to say if the price point would be successful on Indiegogo or Kickstarter. But whether it comes from Rhino or a different company, I'm sure this idea will come to fruition on the market one day. Now number 2, the V10. One of the latest products from InMotion looks futuristic, and it has adequately over 2000 watts of power. It's not a new idea, but it can go up to 25 miles per hour, and it only weighs 44 pounds. It's outfitted with a headlight, an onboard speaker, and a pretty impressive app for customizing and relaying real-time data. The V10 is one of the higher end models, and it's definitely for the enthusiast, but then again, most unicycles are. We finally get to number one, and it's the Unibolt Mini. There are currently two variants of the Uno Bolt. One is a larger unicycle, and the other one is obviously the Mini. You can either sit or stand up on the Mini, and it can go up to 25 miles on a long range battery. It also has the capability of going 22 miles per hour, which is not too bad for weighing in at 29 pounds. And if you think you've seen this before, well, you probably have heard about the older Kiwano K01. It's yet another really similar design scooter, which has a price of around $1,000. The K01 is a pretty crafty machine with a shock absorber, a kickstand, and even a selectable ride mode. But I'm sure there will be more unicycles on the market pretty soon. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.